Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss the topic 3.2 binomial expansion. So now I'm going to expand the a plus b to the power of n where n is a positive integer. So please test, take note n is a positive integer. So the following are the formula. The expansion for a plus b to the power of n. So here we have the formula. So all we have to do is to substitute the value. So now I'm going to discuss a very specific example. So we have a plus b to the power of 3. So in this case, the n will be equals to 3. So the n is very important for us to determine how many terms do we have in this expansion. So n will be our key to know or to identify the numbers of term. So in this case, the numbers of term is equals to n plus 1. So, for this example, our n is equal to 3. So, finally, our answer will become 4. So, meaning that in this expansion, totally we will have 4 terms. So, now we are going to start our expansion. So, we need to follow the formula, substitute the value. So, in here, the n is equal to 3. So, for t1, t1, the terms 1, 3, c, 0, where a, we can see that 3 minus 0, and then b to the power of 0. That is our first term. For the second terms, we need to substitute in this formula. So t2 is equal to 3c1. a to the power of 3 minus 1, b to the power of 1. Followed by the third term, which will be t3 is equal to 3c2 a to the power of referring to this part 3 minus 2 and then b to the power of 2 then the following one will be the fourth term so in here we have 3 c 3 a to the power of 3 minus 3 and then b to the power of 3 so in this case we are going to substitute the value to the final part because the 3 is the maximum, that's why we have to uh, substitute into the value for the formula ncn. So here we are. So after that, no, now we are going to identify the formula for finding the terms. So based on the patterns or the sequence, you can see that if here we have 4, this one will become 3. If here we have 3, here will become 2. If here we have 2, then we will have 1. If we are substituting the formula, tr plus 1 is equal to... So, based on the initial formula, we will have n, because it's in general, n, c, r. And then, a to the power of n minus r and then b r so this is the formula to finding the r plus 1 terms so now we are going to discuss in detail so just now we already derived the formula and finally we have t r plus 1 is equals to n c r a to the power of n minus r multiply with the b power of r so where we have the r plus one term so we can use the binomial theorems to determine a particular terms in expansion without writing the whole expansion so to make our case easier the formula for r plus one terms is equals to t r plus one is equals to n c r a to the power of n minus r and then finally b power of r so these cases only for positive integer where the n is a positive integer so please take note n is a positive integer then only we can use this formula to finding a single terms so here we are and thanks for watching